Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Romans 10 verse 17 So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. James 1 verse 6 But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Matthew 21 verse 22 And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 1 Peter 1 verses 8 to 9 Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Romans 4 verses 20 to 21 No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Hebrews 11 verse 11 By faith, Sarah herself received power to conceive, even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. James 2 verse 17 so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5 So that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Romans 1 verse 17 For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Matthew 17 verse 20 He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there. And it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Hebrews 10 verse 22 let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, 
and our bodies washed with pure water. Romans 3 verse 22 The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. Romans 14 verse 23 But whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats because the eating is not from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. 2 Timothy 4 verses 7 to 8 I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me but also to all who have loved his appearing. Hebrews 12 verse 2 Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Hebrews 6 verse 12 so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Romans 10 verse 9 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 12 verse 3 For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Hebrews 11 verse 13 these all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. Hebrews 11 verse 30 By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. Galatians 3 verse 26 for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God, through faith. John 6 verse 29 Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Romans 5 verse 1 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. James 2 verse 14 What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? John 6 verse 29 Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent.